Hi all, I'm Riccardo Del Gratta from the <laughs> Institution for Computational Linguistics in Pisa. It's the uh, host of the um, ILC4 Clarin B Center of the Clarin IT Consortium. I'm going to present three um, projects which are collaboration between uh, the Venice Department of Digital and Public Humanities of Caposcar in Venice, the ILC and other Italian and the European institutions. And as we mentioned this, um, this morning, this presentation is about what is behind the scene, because to make end users happy for the resources that Clarin offers, there is a, a lot of effort behind the scene. There is a software and system engineers and developers who do a, a a great amount of job to make end users happy in using and downloading the resources and infrastructure as Clarin uh, offers. This slide shows the uh, IIF uh, interoperability framework for images, which is a very complex framework, which is uh, used by the, all the, the projects that I will present in my presentation. This is uh, another key, uh, key object is the manifest file for the IIF, which also I mentioned in the, my presentation. The first uh, project is HT Romance et uh, is, is led by the Ecole de Chart in Paris, in Paris, in partnership with the Venice Department and the ILC. And uh, the main uh, aim of the project is to create a ground truth, which is, will be openly available uh, through Clarin, and the ground truth for the HDR, which is a human text recognition, which is important branch of OCR. What is behind the scene, again, uh, the HDR model metadata is uh, created by managing the images from the IIF server, uh, along with each email transcription, and we will use the, um, the, the developer and user will use the escriptorium uh, tools for um, correcting the, the HDR uh, recognition characters. The second, uh, um, the second project is the Venice Open Book, Venezia Libra Aperto. Is a collection of the um, a, a list of uh, graffiti in Venice of the 16th centuries. Uh, this, 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 this is a facsimile, uh, this facsimile of the graffiti will be transcribed and the text will be annotated with uh, domain specific languages. Uh, the text of, uh, for example, the text is um, uh, Marco Antonio Barbotti. Barboto, which is a prisoner, and says that uh, he'll, we, he'll never commit again uh, to avoid to go to prison again. Uh, the, the text is annotated with um, some uh, important metadata, such as data, person, the middle name, the first name, some uh, annotator names, such as Boschetti, and meaning of the terms and synonyms. All the uh, DS DSL will be uh, converted to XML and from the XML to XML TEI to be finally uh, distributed through the Clarin uh, um, repositories. The two uh, projects I mentioned before are at the early stage uh, of evolution, but this one the, with Galleria Borghese is quite um, a good start or a good point of evolution. It's a very complex and very interesting because there is, uh, the, the, the project shows uh, many bridges between uh, Clarin and other research infrastructures that are more um, focused on the cultural heritage of material uh, data. Um, there are a lot of um, techniques based on the IIF. And essentially, uh, the Galleria Borghese has 20 rooms. Rooms is um, where all the, the, the artifacts are in the, in the museum. Uh, with four collection types, paintings, ancient art, modern sculpture, and furnishings. 
and and we are correct we are currently in improving our prototypes with only three rooms with 30 images and this VR 360 degrees which is a virtual reality which allows a user to uh, navigate through the rooms as they were uh, in the museum directly and thanks to the manifest file I mentioned before it's possible to go through the rooms towards the details so that the, the users can navigate the, the, the image themselves. This project is really important for the Italian community because of the uh, connection that we have in H2, in H2 IOSC uh, Resilience Project in Italy, which is a federation of four um, research infrastructure, Clarin, Daria, Iris, and Operas. And Clarin and Daria are the, the leading one because they are much evolved and Iris and Operas have just start, and they are, they, they, the last one are devoted to, to remotization and certification of user access to museum. So this, this project, the Galleria Borghese project, creates a bridge between what, um, what Clarin offers through his channels uh, and what can help in, uh, in increasing the performance of the other, resource, other infrastructure to offer the same uh, services. Again, what is behind the scene, that is this IIF digital object. The user requests the IIF digital object. The server provides the images that are um, uh, shown to the users uh, using the Mirador viewer, which is a client. Uh, why this, uh, what, what clarin can do for this project? Uh, for example, and this is very important, to make all the data uh, offered by this project fair, so findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, through the Clarin uh, repository. I mentioned here the ILC for Clarin repository, but of course every repository in the Clarin infrastructure can share this data as well. Uh, as I said, there is this, these three projects are um, short amount of linguistic information, but they have images at their core. And managing images connect, as I said, clearing to other activities in digital humanities, such as material cultural heritage. But managing images, images as, um, claims new, new challenges for the search community. Even for the, even for the, a technical point of view. The images uh, are connected to licenses, they are connected to sites. So uh, as a system engineer, as a system engineer, we must uh, dimension correctly the, the server where the images are. And as legal expert, uh, thanks to the click in Clarin, we have to decide uh, which is the best license to to make these images uh, available to the community. We are currently uh, negotiating with the Galleria Borghese a sample of, um, of images to make uh, publicly available to the community. What is behind the scene again, uh, through the marketplace of the H2 IOS, which is similar to the, the one presented before, we will offer uh, services to access the museum and all the collection that the, the project will provide in the next future. So that's all for my presentation. Sorry, but I'm not directly involved in the three projects. I am directly involved in the migration on the results of the project in the Clarion. So if I'm not, be, I'm not so precise in my, in my terms, so I apologize again. Don't shoot at me. <laughs> if, you, if you want to, to ask something for the projects, on the project there is Federico Boschetti, <laughs> hidden <laughs> somewhere in the room. <laughs> Thanks, Daria. I will be... Daria, Daria, I think you had two questions. I will be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are all very close to land, so a semi-serious question. Have you considered describing the images with generative language models or like ChatGPT? 
Federico, <laughs> do you think to describe the, the images with the generative language model? Did I understood correctly? Hai pensato di descrivere le immagini usando un linguaggio generativo? <laughs> Did I translate correctly? Thank you. We made some experiments uh, uh, for uh, the uh, encoding of uh, named entities uh, and so on to, uh, to work on uh, the graffiti also. And uh, it is uh, very, very good uh, in its uh, performances. So the, uh, I guess that uh, a domain-specific language is uh, a good approach uh, in the future to correct uh, the results uh, of, uh, the, of uh, the larger language models because uh, you have a, a more compact way to see uh, your results. Instead of correcting, for example, manually XML files, uh, you have a, a compact way, a compact way to uh, see your uh, data and to immediately correct them. Okay, so. I think oh. also that um, a part of this question, the Venice Open Book is a collection of ancient Venetian variety of Italian. So it's very interesting for the community to have these diachronic um, resources to make diachronic studies to see how languages changes during years. I was, I, I took an, a note for my presentation, but I forgot the presentation in my chair. So I forget to, to say this thing when, when I present the, the project. Yeah, and uh, uh, for this kind of project, uh, there are a lot of uh, philological issues. So it isn't simple to extract uh, automatically uh, named entities uh, because uh, also to identify if it is a name, uh, it's controversial. It is uh, uh, a problem that uh, must be critically approached. Okay, so. Uh, there are uh, few data, and uh, these data uh, are controversial. So, so there it is important to work manually also. The project is uh, an early stage of evolution, so the audience has to wait um, a couple of years, I guess, <laughs> before seeing the... This two years give me time to, to, to go away from if, if, if there is something bad as a result, uh, but there is no this case. So thanks again. <laughs>